While all constant temperature lab equipment will have thermal gradients, samples are better protected when using lab armor beads. It's also important that you use the appropriate size bath for the number of vessels that will be warmed or thawed. Here are frozen sample vessels placed in lab armor beads and water. When a frozen vessel is placed into the bead bath, the beads surrounding the bottle become temporarily cool. If the vessel is large enough, just like a water bath, the overall temperature of the bead bath will decrease slightly below the set point and trigger the bath to begin heating. The cool areas surrounding the bottle will slowly warm up until the bottle reaches the set temperature. Although similar gradients are produced in water baths, in general, the whole water bath cools down and rewarms without obvious gradients because of normal disturbances and stirrings, as well as natural thermal circulation of water. Samples are better protected when using lab armor beads because the thermal mass of the beads resists temperature change much better. And unlike a water bath, your samples are protected. Instead of always stirring the bead bath, you can most likely solve your problem with a simple change of protocol. Plan for longer warming or thawing times with a bead bath. Warming of cold or frozen vessels may take one and a half to two and a half times longer in a bead bath than a water bath, depending on the size of the vessel. For precision applications, you should validate old water bath protocols to avoid under or overheating samples. Use a lab armor bead bath for incubation above 50 degrees centigrade up to 80 degrees centigrade to avoid uneven temperature gradients typical of most conventional water baths. For thawing, bring frozen vessels to 4 degrees centigrade in a refrigerator or just prior to immediate use, bring the sample to room temperature on the bench top before placing in beads to reduce incubation times. Periodically agitate larger cold vessels and relocate to warmer zones in the bead bath. And when possible, fully submerge vessels in the beads.